It's time. It's time. Today, the parliament has come together to right a great wrong. To remove a great stain from the nation's soul. Today, we honour the indigenous peoples of this land, the oldest continuing cultures in human history, linking our Australian continent to the most ancient prehistory of our planet. These great and ancient cultures, we are blessed, truly blessed, to have among us. We reflect on their past mistreatment. We reflect in particular on the mistreatment of those who were stolen generations. This blemished chapter in our national history. But the stolen generations are not intellectual curiosities. They are human beings. Human beings who have been damaged deeply by the decisions of parliaments and governments. We apologise for the laws and policies of successive parliaments and governments that have inflicted profound grief, suffering and loss. There comes a time in the history of nations when their peoples must become fully reconciled to their past if they are to go forward with confidence to embrace their future. Reconciliation is in fact an expression of a core value of our nation. And that value is a fair go for all. These are uncomfortable things to be brought out into the light. They are not pleasant. They are profoundly disturbing. We are the bearers of many blessings from our ancestors, and therefore, we must also be the bearer of their burdens as well. It's time to recognise the injustices of the past. It's time to say sorry. As part of the healing of the nation, there is nothing I can say today that can take away the pain you have suffered personally. Words alone are not that powerful. It's not sentiment that makes history, it's our actions that make history. It's time for fresh ideas to fashion the nation's future. A future where this parliament resolves that the injustices of the past must never, never Never happen again. It's time to move forward together.